The government has inaugurated 15 motorized boreholes. Minister of Special Duties and Intergovernmental Affairs Zephaniah Jessel, who delivered the boreholes on behalf of uh, the federal government, stated that the project was funded by the National Lottery Trust Fund. Maya Walkwater reports. The World Bank estimates that 70 million Nigerians lack access to safe drinking water. Nigeria has abundant water resources, but poor water management practices and inadequate infrastructure render most unfit for human consumption. A total of 15 motorized boreholes have been constructed in 15 selected communities across Benue State, funded by the National Lottery Trust Fund. The National Lottery Trust Fund had built a total of 19 motorized boreholes across the country. The essence of this intervention is to promote access to clean, portable water in our communities across the country with the objectives of curtailing waterborne diseases such as cholera, typhoid fever, meningitis, dysentery, poliomyelitis, uh, etc., etc., and enhancing the total well-being of our societies. The federal government reaffirmed its commitment to the continuation of the program until every community in their need of portable water supply across the sixth geopolitical zone of the country is reached. This government is committed and ready to find her needs and apply every available resources to its disposal to the benefit of the generality of Nigeria people. The representative of the community said that before the construction of the motorized borehole, they usually trek about two to three kilometers to access water that was not even clean. They add that with the construction of the borehole, the whole area now have access to clean water and commends the federal government for remembering them. I'm very happy to receive this uh, project and I promise you we can use it in a very good manner. We can protect these facilities. Gee, we are feeling too much of challenges because when we go to the way to fetch the water, we don't even come back on time to go in our farms. The minister appeals to the beneficiaries to own the project and protect same for improved sanitation and hygiene. Mayowa Okwato, TVC News, Taka.